Greetings and welcome to Die Dragon Die Presents Master of Puppets, the companion campaign to Grimstone Chronicles. I am your host, but not your DM, as we are sharing DM duties for both of these campaigns. Marty, and I'm joined by Mark. Who is Hello. the DM? How's it going? Uh, how's it going, Mark? Uh, what was the last time I saw you? Yes, like last night. Y yes, last night. Last yes. night, yeah. Like yeah lo long time. Uh, and now we are playing the Better Call Saul to the Breaking Bad that is Grimstone. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, is, that is a good description <laughs> for those that watch those shows. Uh, I kind of like the character Saul. I'm glad they made a, a spinoff. Uh, uh, he's, he's, he's despicable, but at the same time, likable in a weird way. Like, there's a redeeming quality to his story. Um yeah, anyways. Uh, okay, so yeah, last night the game was interesting. The the heist has turned into a battle over a jewelry store. Yeah! <laughs> As Dickens like, ah, they don't have any guards inside. Wait a minute, summon monsters. I didn't think of that. <laughs> this is bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Burn there. it down! <laughs> <laughs> I like in your frustration, you're like, Oh, this place is so going to get robbed. <laughs> like you went there to rob the place and they had yeah. guard dogs. And you're like, well, that just makes it even worse. <laughs> Every cent. Uh, just just the logic there was was kind of uh, amusing. Um, what do we do? Recap what happened last game. So I don't really have much to tell you since last night. Uh I worked we, today. We got our we got our blindness removed. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, we got beaten down by a bunch of street criminals. <laughs> no, that was did, that was the game before that. That was the game before. That was the game before. Dirt, yes. Dirty oh, this one was. Oh, this one was strictly. Dirty, yeah, we're getting dirty conjurer. deeds. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so last game was getting... dirty deeds. I could do the two game recap if you want, but. Um, if we want to go back two games, Chaga searches Southwell District for a healer to restore eyesight. Strange Nagaji visits the Belfont Tower with a warning from the gang called the Executioners. The Executioners later send a brute squad to the tower. Violence ensues. Los gets a new sword, but it is only partially effective, as it is not Ghost Touch. Uh, Barnabas makes a deal with Malfont the Dreadmoth to instruct the party in the ways of arcane magic and alchemy. <laughs> That was funny. The group of fae, a group of fae from the Sylvan Acres comes to intrigue with the tower's new residents. Maliphant commands the party to slay an old rival of his, the Conjurer, who may have been allied with the Executioners. And then last game was Dirty Deeds. Barnabas, Junker, Ghost, and Los spy upon the Conjurer's house, making note of some of the intelligent skeletons guarding the main floor. A few days later, the party breaks into the house, intent on slaying the Conjurer and looting the premises. The race is on to reach the Conjurer before he can summon his mighty idol on. <laughs> uh, that fight was fun because you were like, "Oh, is he gonna is he gonna summon the idol on for reals?" <laughs> and you guys got there kind yes, of around I, the night. I, was, or, I uh, was worried because I know you build those things in a certain way, and they're they are just war beasts that are very hard to put down. <laughs> had it charged you, it would have. Pounced. raked and pounced and and uh, did a bunch of bad things to uh to whoever its fortunately first was. it wasn't immune to rats nope <laughs> failed its fort save against the horrible swarm of tiny angry rats. twice as i recall yeah oh yeah it, it, you guys got really lucky that fight it's it tends to happen it's like oh can they bite off more they can chew yep and by the skin of their teeth somehow managed to slide by because yeah. uh, that could have gone entirely different way so the party returns back to the Belfont Tower with a bloody head in a sack. And I believe the two rings have become one. Yes. With the hint of a third. And you noticed on the four statuettes that you, that you found on a mantelpiece, uh, these may have been little figures of former adventuring companions. One was a big warrior and the other was some sort of uh, elf or fey woman um, and it was the fey woman the conjurer and uh, Belafont, now Malafont the Dreadmoth uh, 
that had little rings carved onto their fingers. So you think that their third ring, which may unlock different powers to the tower, <laughs> um, is out there somewhere. Uh, I think everyone is kind of tired after the fighting, uh, and they flop into the Belfont Tower, and we've got some downtime, and now is where I'm going to hand the stick over to Mark. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I bestow, <clears throat> I bequeath upon the, the pen of power. <laughs> All right, let's start with uh, downtime. Cool. We have earned some of that, yep. theoretically. All right, we've got the 16th attack contract. Yeah, so this week of the 16th week. Uh, Los is engaging in, yeah, we got so much to trade. Yeah, Los, Chaga, and uh, it looks like Mort are going to do some trading, as well as Alistair yeah. for the first week. Yeah, um, Barnabas, I am going to have him do a gather information, I guess. Ghost is going to buy and copy some spells. Like he's got, we've got a, a significant amount of magic ink that he dipped into uh, to start filling up his mages book with some mm -hmm. missing second level spells. He's also copying some of the spells from uh, from the books that we captured. Junker's just going to maintain guard at the tower. After the tower got attacked uh, when they get, they were away, he's just going to guard while Ghost is at home uh, copying spells. Alistair is going to get bored with trading okay. and then just relax. <laughs> of course. <laughs> he trades a little bit and then relaxes. <clears throat> After, yeah, he gets bored. <laughs> after, what, after I think he bought uh, a plus one on his Kukri, um, I think Kukri is going to be part of his uh, uh, part of his build. Um, I yeah, it's got a nice uh, nice crit range and yeah, it's scary it's and cool. it, it's also a finesse weapon. Yeah. Um, uh, I there was a footnote, but I want to talk to you offline about this one. It's about the future of Alistair's build, but it's not. It's not at all pressing at this point in time. We're too okay. level. So. Uh, we could talk offline about yep. that then. I've got some uh, ideas. And I'm not the DM 100% of right. the time. So. Barnabas is um, trying to um, learn about the exotic animal trade in Foundry. And so he's making a knowledge local. A 24. Uh, he's, his plan is to maybe forge some papers and make this hippogriff look more prize-worthy than perhaps it is and sell it at a profit. That's cool. I honestly forget what Chaga spent his money on. He spent it on something. Um, do I have a shopping list? No, oh, uh, he's going to buy the Rune of Fire for his scythe. Hey. While you're out, can you do me a five? Put me up one of them rings with the... Uh... And there yeah. was also a Ghost Touch Rune uh, that Ooh. that Los is going to buy when they, go, I... when they go to the Rune Shop. Okay. If they know about the Rune Shop, that is. Uh, you know, I'm going to have Burnabas. Is not he wants you guys to have shit. So. It is in a nearby neighborhood. Yeah, so. it, DC twenty, I think, is pretty hard. Yeah, I, I think he knows about it. Cut with DC twenty. So uh, with the rune rules, that's two grand a piece, and uh, they do have plus one weapons. Yeah. So uh, finally, Los is effective in combat. <laughs> Yay! He, he can threaten. Level. He can threaten. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, fifth level. Fifth level. Fifth level. Yep. We're not uh, fifth, we're fourth. Sorry, we're fourth. Yeah. yeah. Um, Unless I've got some leveling to do. <laughs> nope, nope. Uh, we are nine grand away from fifth. All right. I already have my uh, fifth level plotted out for all the characters so uh, that I'm controlling. So that's... Mort. Uh, how much did we get? 
Mort should, yeah, all the money from the selling. Yeah. Uh uh. Oh, I'm showing, yeah, 1735 here. It also means that Los doesn't need to bond with that item. So he can bond with a different magic item. Yeah. So, uh, looks like Mort has to save a little bit before he can get his club enchanted. Okay. He did, however, uh, from that loot, get uh, Boots of Striding and Springing uh, and a plus two Ring of Protection. So, yay. Yeah, there was quite a bit of loot in that... Um... Yeah, I divvy I divvied up the loot a little bit. I haven't moved it to all of our uh to all of our sheets. I don't know if we've made the identify checks. I don't know what um... uh, uh, Barnabas can make actually can do that the first week. Okay. There you will uh... do that the first week, I'll adjust the downtime. There are some uh no, identify takes three rounds. Oh yeah. Okay, the conjurer's ring isn't necessarily useful at this point in time. Um it, when combined with the Belfont ring and warm on this, it can be worn on the same finger. Uh, for a summoner, the ring allows the user to add the advanced simple template to their Eidolon when the when the Eidolon is summoned, one minute version only, while the ring wears within a hundred feet of the Belfont tower. That's pretty cool. The template is applied to the Eidolon, uh, uh, until the Eidolon is banished or until twenty four hours have passed, and it can only be used once per day. So in combination of I can su I can transfer any of my arcane yeah. spells into summoning, this one makes summoners more powerful, and we don't know what the third ring does. Well, we will find out. Um... The Ring of the Guarded Flyer is a ring of protection plus two with feather falling in it and a plus five competence bonus to fly checks. Barnabas ended up with that one. Thank you, he sir. also ended up with the lesser meta, meta magic rod of extend. If you don't want it, Chaga will take it. If Chaga doesn't want it, Ghost will take it, or even uh, Junker. But the Bard seems to be the right place. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Cloak resistance plus two. Uh, Alistair, unless unless you really want to change your token to that, the mirrored mask. No, no, uh, I don't think Barnabas is a mask wearing type of guy. Plus five competence bonus to bluff disguise, intimidate sense motive, plus four versus gaze attacks with a twenty percent chance of reflecting a gaze attack upon the creature. It's one of yes, it's a great item. It's yep. one of those things though, I don't want to look like an asshole. <laughs> you don't want to look like that. I can go <laughs> I, I can very much see a child walking around with that because they'll walk around with a fucking cowboy hat on and <laughs> a fireman's suit. <laughs> sure. <laughs> You had a colorful childhood, didn't you, Mark? <laughs> I was Captain Olsen. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Got it. <laughs> uh, Actually, I just changed. Okay, Chaga, and this is not me, like, peppering the treasure with items that are fit for Chaga. The 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 build that I that I went off of for the, for the summoner, which somebody else build, had a scythe on their character sheet. It was a plus two scythe. I'm like, well, all right, fine. It is what it is. It is yeah. what it is. So there's a plus two scythe in Chaga's hand. And then there's a headband of alluring charisma. I don't know if the bard wants it first. No, you're an imp bard. I'm an imp bard. Go ahead. Okay. Now there's a very complicated item. And you could thank Kenny for this. Kenny gave us a book when we we're asking the stream for books. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to spend a DM point to make this a thing because I think it's fun. It's called To Separate Heaven and Earth. So what I did was I took the powers from a third-party Mage's Prestige class that's all about making weapons fly around. Okay. And as a second... when It, it gives you uh, the spell book Mage Hand and Telekinesis. Mm -hmm. And these powers are based off of those two, of, of those two um, uh, spells. They also act as pages of spell knowledge. So you could add those to your known list for the day when you study from the book if you're okay. uh, if they're on your classes list. If you burn a second level slot, 
you can when you cast mage hand pick up a weapon and attack with it um it d uses your int or your charisma on attack and cmb checks using caster level as bab it doesn't act uh, it doesn't add any damage um until you burn a fourth level slot then it's you add your charisma or int to damage and the movement gets a little bit faster and you can actually do a full round attack and then if you burn a sixth level slot you can wield two-handed weapons and make it of tax around. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Only one person at a time can, like, use this book per day. But effectively, if Mage Armor, if Mage Hand is on your class list, basically you can, you can, you can do like, this. you can do this. These are the prestige class powers from a Magus, uh, like, telekineticis kind of build that we never <clears throat> really got to explore, and I'm like. I think I think this party can handle it. It's weird. It, That's it's... very cool. Yeah. I could totally see that being like a guy's someone's thing. <laughs> like... Yeah, Chaga's eyeing the book. Chaga Chaga likes the the flag the things flying around. I could see him. I could see him going after it. I don't know if Mage Hand is on any of Barnabas's. Uh... Bar Barnabas has Mage Hand. Okay. However, Barnabas I think also realizes he is stunted himself in his growth as a sorcerer and chaga will have access to fourth and sixth circle spells before he does right because you're bard and your cast level goes up to six only right yes okay so yeah there might be an in 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 uh um uh in, in character conversation about the book but it's definitely something that chaga is drooling over um cool I, I I don't think there's any other decisions. So like, there's a bundle of arcane scrolls. I think uh, Barnabas can hold them for now and then distribute them to the people. Yeah, makes sense. He'll grab those for now. Okay. Wall of ice. Oh my god. Like, we're all arcane casters, I think, and well, at least to some degree. Uh, Mort's a alchemist, but okay. Uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to make sure that we're good with the the gear, so you could grab your own character's yeah. stuff and start. To... Oh yeah, the Grand Chef's Kitchen was the awesome item. Oh yeah, that's the DM points got spent on cooking. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> How can you tell we're middle-aged men? Food. <laughs> Food. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, Chaga made it well, too. Yep. Again, Chaga is my spirit animal. Uh, Chaga would know <laughs> how to make a proper pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I, I imagine. <laughs> Amongst other things. Uh, DM and channel points. I'm going to uh, reset the DM points. And there's still a fortune point sitting on my plate from last time. I think we'll let those carry <clears> over. <throat> Actually, there was some really great loot there. It was. I think Mark said offline, we got to find more wizards to go and kill. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like, I, yeah, I guess we could become the wizard hit squad. Because <laughs> that can't go wrong at all. No. Uh, it did, you know what? It did make me decide, though, that Mort's taking the disruptive feat that uh, when he's got the uh, six level fighter. <laughs> okay. So with his reach and everything, it's like, you're not casting spells! <laughs> yeah. M Mort's pretty... We we've we've ridden more to victory. He reminds me a little bit of Slake in early levels, which is like, yeah, we're winning because we have that guy. Yeah, Slake's kind of invisible now. I notice at seventh level, like the other guys have definitely caught up, and his punch yeah. once for a bunch well, of damage isn't isn't standing out. Capra's as much. damage output is just crazy now. Yeah. Uh, 
Dugans is getting up there, but it's not at the same rate as Capra. Holy smokes. Even even Cog is with his sneak attack and multiple attacks. That's yeah. Okay. I think I'm mostly ready. I'm just gonna slowly add things to uh the sheet as we go. Okay. He gets a bonus first level spell for 20. DCs go up. Ghost is buying and copying spells. Yeah, there were a bunch of second level spells that kind of rounded his spell book, uh, All right. both from the uh, from our growing library and then standard spells from uh, from Granomir's Granomir mm -hmm. sells scrolls. All right, I need a, a DM decision. Are adventuring parties licensed and registered in the Imperial? Uh, no. Okay. There's no there's no such thing. The people that get to you probably need a license to uh to rob tombs and places of historical significant significance. Okay. But they wouldn't be carte blanche. Uh there's probably like government institutions that would, would like you're an archaeologist and therefore can hire people to go do a thing, but uh I that would probably be the closest thing to an adventuring company. Okay. Or you form a mercenary band. That's there's probably a lot of those. Yeah, there's a mercenary band. All right, I am going to have Barnabas make a knowledge. What? Right now, these characters are breaking the law. We're sitting in somebody else's property, <laughs> divvying up another somebody else's property, uh, whom uh, we murdered in their home. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> We we're, are the very definition of the murder hobo people here. We're, we're, we're criminals. <laughs> All of them. All right, the I'm only Barnab sympathy is that we're controlling the criminals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. Uh, DC 23. I'm going to vote. At the same time, like, I'm not justifying the murder of the conjurer. That was definitely, like, like we went over a line there, I think. Uh, bad things happen to Chaga and and Los and. Oh Barnabas yeah, for sure. With, yes. Yeah. And and the Conjurer did send people to basically take our, what was our 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 home, for the better part. Of, uh, uh, illegally. So yeah, there's there's compounding gray here, I think. And then yeah, dirty deeds. Yeah, it's kind of like a euphemism for assassinating. Um, Yeah, they're not they're not good people. There's no G's on any of their alignments. No. There's no DD in this group. We've got a we've got a C E in this group. <laughs> You've got an anti DD. <laughs> yeah, we've got the anti DD. <laughs> and that's yeah, when he says we he, the rest of us go, oh no. <laughs> chaotic neutral, chaotic neutral, neutral, chaotic neutral, chaotic evil, chaotic neutral. So, oh, the chaos part. The chaos and leaning slightly towards evil party. I think in that bunch, wait, Barnabas neutral or chaotic neutral? He's neutral or should be neutral. That's so, yeah, the, the two moral, the moral guiding compasses are the, are the two gray guys, Barnabas and Chaga. <laughs> 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 oh, no. This, this is not good. Hey, Fox. <laughs> when there's a giant brawl outside the tower, I think they react to the bee. Well, lock the fucking door then. <laughs> Don't want them coming in. Saving people. That's nonsense. <laughs> uh, okay. Find copy spell. Junker guarding the tower. 
Barnabas did some research. I was to trade, relax, and trade for Mort. Now, is there any money you want to spend on anything strange? Uh, uh. No, I, th I think the uh, the runes for Losa's sword and Chaga's uh, scythe yeah, that's probably are uh, kind of tapped our, our money situation for those two characters. <clears throat> uh, okay. I think Ghost and Junker are sitting on some cash for a while. Um, Barnabas is sitting on some cash, too. Actually, you know what? He's going to buy up his AC a bit. A bit more. He's going to buy an Amulet of Natural Armor plus one, if that's available. A little bit deal, 100. 14. <laughs> Fox is saying we should swerve into evil. Just, just go full just, up, full just, tilt. Just a little bit, <laughs> or just all the way. What do you say? What do you say it here? I never pictured Chug as evil. Take hey, a know. level in Soul Eater. <laughs> just go full on. Just go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we are the monsters. Uh, you know what? There's one character in this party I think that is full on evil and is not going to change. Yeah. Uh, well, I think Alistair is going down the path. I, I would think it's kind of funny to go full on evil, and then there's that scene where Didi's leaving the group, maybe to go off to war, and the rest are like, "Don't worry, we'll look after your neighborhood." Oh, that reminds me, the, um, the, that token I sent you. Yep. Uh, uh you can, want to drop it somewhere? Uh, yeah, on the, uh, Belafont Tower. Sure. Upper right corner. There we are. Okay, so what was what was Barnabas trying to investigate? I didn't really get the. Uh... Oh, he he's trying to find out um, who Lars adventured with. Oh, because of the. Uh... Yeah, he wants to find out his. He wants to find out who this elf is, and see if he can, we can nab that ring too. Oh yes. We should be very careful about reuniting all three of the you know what's together in the same sort of item. Uh, surely we, we we will, but come on, <clears throat> this is not something that we really. It's it's a mystery that needs solving. Come on. I suppose. It begs the question why the three rings were separated to begin with. Are you sure this uh, is wise in putting them back together? Uh, what I, three I, wing, yeah. What three rings, says Alistair. It will be a long, boring explanation if you want it. Yeah. Barnabas goes out of his way to use as much theory and arcane like dribble like the most like it, it is like an engineering report <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> on how this ring works <laughs> sounds like we're making a knowledge arcana off <laughs> yeah uh alistair does have a rank not he does not know on knowledge arcana you are you calling me stupid yeah, well, I used the word stupid, now did I? What, what, why did you use the word stupid? You're calling me stupid. No, I'm not calling you stupid. I never used the word. You're the one who said stupid. You're making me feel dumb. I don't like it! Uh, there's a book right there. <laughs> he gives you the evil eye. Damn it! <laughs> Do I have to make my save now? 
Yeah, the save is uh, hmm, versus evil eye. 17? 16? Yeah. And that's a will save? 17, yeah. Yep. Uh, 17 will save is not a joke. It's weird. When you're thinking about your DCs, like if I got a 17, I'm like, that's not high enough. But when it, you're the one who has to make the 17, you're like, ah, oh, that's pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, Good for the yeah. games. Actually, I should be plus nine because I got a new cloak. No, oh, he fails. Okay, you're at minus two to your skill checks for eight rounds. He gets up from the table. <laughs> Who's the dummy now? I'm still willing to do this if you won't. <laughs> <laughs> you may have muddled me head, but I still know more than you do. <laughs> oh, yeah. He certainly showed you. Are you feeling all right? You look a little startled after he stared at you. I'll get over it. <laughs> it's not cool with that. <laughs> right. Uh, Chaga takes Los into the kitchen where he's trying out his new pots and pans. All right. Oh, um, uh, so this book. Oh, it, it, yes. Uh, you looked interested in it. Yes, it's quite interesting. It, it'll make things fly around. Fly around. Like weapons. Normally, Mage Hand can't... Uh, well, it separates heaven and earth. Jaga looks quite excited. This is something you find appealing. Oh, yes. Um, do you want me to show you? Sure. All right. Chaga uh, draws his longsword. He puts it on the ground. He casts a mage hand, and then the mage hand picks up the longsword. Um, so that's two actions to cast mage hand. And then he moves the longsword towards you, which I think has a range of whatever Mage Hand has a range of. I think uh, it's a short. 25 right. feet plus five, uh, five feet over two levels. Mm -hmm. And he can move the Mage Hand, I believe, at 30 feet per round. Okay. Uh, 20 feet per round. So that round he cast the spell and moved the longsword. I'm going to make a longsword token. Next round he uses an attack action to attack the table with the longsword. Alright, alright, I get it. Don't wreck our furniture. And hits the table. It's rather easy to concentrate on. I can do other things. Just slap the, slap the long sword down. Slap the long sword down. He slaps it down. Goes falling to the ground and Chaga kind of, with an action, scoops it up and it lifts back up again. All right, I can see how this would be useful. Sure. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And at the end of the spell, he snaps his fingers and long sword goes... And that's well, that it. Is nice. It'll take some practice to make the uh, uh, the long sword work, uh, well, like a swordsman. But I know how weapons work. I suppose my training with my brothers and my father will did make an impression. So it would seem. Hmm. Okay, um, tell you what, you want it, you can keep it. All right. You die, I'm taking it from you, though. Yes, the book is rather, uh, 
It's it's an excellent find. So is the ring, though. Most of us are arcane casters, myself, a ghost, you, even Alistair. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, I'm not going to complain with my lot, but between you and me, you got a bit of the lion's share there. Yes, yes, we did do rather well, I think. Yeah, we should do that again. You know, after this, the heat from this dies down. Uh, are we really going to be doing this again? How many conjurer seemed bad he sent a wizard here to make our lives miserable so i suppose in a way he asked for it but this elf woman now we don't know her from a random person what... well we could offer to avoid the ring we could see how that turns out yes go off and sell the ring though i'm not too keen on that given that she might come back to the tower Yes. On the other hand, if that means we can get rid of a lich, might be worthy. Yes. And Chaga looks nervously in the direction of the lich, like, should we be making plans? He gives you a look like, should we be talking in the tower? <laughs> he just kind of puts his hands up okay. like, yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. You guys are sitting. We'll follow your lead as always, Barnabas. Junk and rat got up. Mort sleeping in this friggin' pen. Okay, Alistair is sleeping in his new mask because it's creepy. There's his mirrored mask. <laughs> he sleeps in the mask. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, you are making creepy breathing noises, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you are disturbed by a knock at the door. Uh... Oh, should, should we get loose to answer the door? <laughs> He's dying to try out his new sword. I wasn't expecting anyone. Were you expecting anyone? I was not. It is a late night. Perhaps the pecans that I'm roasting um, summoned the neighbours. Oh, that might... Well, I give a fuck off. All right, I'll go and check, see who it is. What, what are you doing in there? <laughs> Sleeping. <laughs> yeah, he'll put the funerary urn down just over here. Uh, we we might have visitors. Could you, uh, Los? Could you come out and say a count of one hundred? That's a good boy. <laughs> Hello. Mine gets up and kind of waits over at the corner. Is there somebody there? Yes. I'm here on behalf of the Fae. We have some things to discuss. Uh, but, uh, he looks over his shoulder to Barnabas. Barnabas kind of shrugs non-committally, but kind of motions to open the door. Okay, Chaga will unlock the door and open the door just to crack and peek out. Hello there. Oh, hello there, dear. Uh, before you stands a... Um, beautiful elf woman um she's got some golden jewelry her if you look like close up well it's not really great when she close up too much but her eyelids and eyelashes are decorated almost with gold Ooh. and she's here by herself in the middle of the night <laughs> a little late for house calls my apologies gentlemen but some associates tonight i thought it'd be best to make some arrangements quickly. You're not an, a nymph, are you? 
She looks at you a little confused. Uh, no. Oh, that's good. We had uh, a... Make a knowledge... Na- Do you have knowledge nature? Uh, Chaga has profession cook. Okay. <laughs> no. Knowledge nobility. <laughs> is she a noble nature? Creature? She is a not... <laughs> She may be noble in character, but not in... It's only a single reg, too. It's like he knows names because he has to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, he doesn't have any knowledge skills. He's all about... May the... I come in? Uh, she looks over at Barnabas. Barnabas. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes, certainly. He, he opens the door with a sweeping motion. You don't mind if we... Uh clear a few things and he you can hear him casting mage armor as he goes into the kitchen for a second come in there you could sit at our front table she walks in chaga picks it. stumbles backwards picks up the funerary urn and has awkwardly got it in a in a like bundle like it's a baby he covers it up and then he'll awkwardly close the door and lock it with one hand she's taking an appraising look around do not mind Mortimer here. He is a mm, bodyguard. He likes sleeping over there. Look at him. He's very peaceful when he's sleeping. Let's not wake him up. Uh, very well. This way, I... towards the smell of the uh, uh, of the the cooking pecans. Barnabas comes out. So right. uh... She follows you. He, he uh... points to the table but he obviously he wants to go into the kitchen yeah uh, she she goes to the table okay the chaga's gonna put los down just inside the door okay 40 feet <laughs> Cause, yeah yep. and then he's gonna go check on the roasting uh pecans he basically has pecans in the oven he's roasting them and they then could be used either just as roasted pecans or as ingredient <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, when it you come part, back in, it is part of his multi-phasic cooking plan. <laughs> I will caramelize the onions and. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Chaga, as you uh, come back in with some pecans. Yep, he's he's got a tray of pecans straight out of the oven. He's got oven mitts on. He looks ridiculous. You see, Bar- Barnabas is eyeing her, <clears throat> not um, lecherously, but like. Suspiciously, as he's offering her a glass of whiskey. <laughs> yep. Yes. A, a pecan straight out of the oven. He puts the tray. He puts the tray down on the uh, on the table. There, it, it's obvious that Chaka's nipped a few because he's kind of chewing yep. the last remnants in his mouth. They're nice and buttery. Oh, thank you. She grabs a few and tries them. Mm-hmm. They're quite good. Oh, yes, it's the dash of sea salt on top of them afterwards. It, it, you always need salt. Good salt with the, with nuts. Okay, so he futzes around in the in the kitchen, but he's at this point in time pretending to do stuff in the kitchen. He's mm-hmm. just listening to the conversation. I will make a bluff. He gets a 13. Okay. So, what did happen to old Lars, anyway? He's still around. Oh, old Lars, yeah. He's been teaching us magic. We're his apprentices now. Which technically isn't a lie, I guess. <laughs> Lars is an old master of mine. He helped me figure out my magic. I've got a different sort of magic, if you will, and he's a good teacher. It's just he hasn't been seen in some time, and now here you are. Oh, you know, wizards. It's come to our attention that you've come into quite a bit of wealth as of late. Wizards do as wizards do. Magical things. I have seen more wealth than is here, my dear, in a single household in a well, different part of the city. But you, your well, point what part is... What would that be? 
I'm sorry, I don't know who you are and how it's usual for Faye to come to your house in the middle of the night asking you about your finances. This seems a little odd. He, he looks at Barnabas. Yeah, it's a bit fucking strange. <laughs> are you some you sort want? of tax collector? <laughs> in a manner of speaking. Oh, this has to do with the Fae. Yes, we're not interested. We're not interested in joining any of your gangs. We're not a gang. No, we don't want you to join any of our gangs. Not after what you did. What did we do, my dear? What did we do? We've heard about the fate of the conjurer. Your selling of your goods in what is now our neighborhood. Given what happened. The who? In our neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Make a bluff check. It's 16. Who? <laughs> the sorcerer? We've never heard of the sorcerer. <laughs> the conjurer. Ooh, conjurer. I think you know well who I mean. It sounds impressive. He's looking to Barnabas like, you fucking help. <laughs> Let's say we did do this, and I won't say we did, because there's other ways to make money. I'm very good at it. What of it? Well, that sort of behavior attracts unwanted attention. And to those living near, in our neighborhood, we would be very displeased if it brought the wrong kind of presence. That being said, the conjurer was a bit of a thorn in our side. Oh, then. No no harm, no foul. He was a thorn in Belafont's side as well. They never really did get along. I should know. I'm his apprentice. Of course you are. Yes. Uh, Chaga is actually going to talk about the first lesson that, that Belafont gave him about his mind magic. Uh, okay. Mind magic. Uh, let's see if she's... Yes, my dear. I could be rolling I've around... Had... I could be rolling around in your mind right now. She looks a little concerned because... 47. I... <laughs> she chuckles like a smiles and well, gives her a wink. Well, <laughs> You had it for a moment. <laughs> yes. Uh, and he's thinking, little do you know, my domain spell is detect thoughts. <laughs> I don't need magic. I don't need arcane magic to get into your mind, dear. Because <clears throat> he wouldn't like my arcane magic. J Jaga's now grinning evilly, kind of like. <laughs> Sinister. We were curious if you wanted assistance given the what will be coming down the line for you ew the conjurer had friends did he quite a few Belafont's not afraid of his old rival especially not in his old rival's current condition well, from what I'm told Lord Belafont didn't help you when your tower was attacked last time Wizards are often... It's why he hired some of us to protect him. Do you think he'll be able to protect you in the streets? Now that we're warned, we'll bring Mort with us more often. Thank you for the warning. They will come in force, you know. Who? The Conjurer's friends. The, oh fuck, is it the Enforcers? God, why can't I remember all of that? It's the Enforcers and the Mummers were... Yeah, the, two the Enforcers. Oh, well, they can... They can set up their guillotine all they want. They're not getting my head. As it stands now, we have no reason to stop them from coming for you. If anything... We could likely get some gold out of them. How is that, my dear? Free passage through our neighborhood. It's worth something. 
your neighborhood, the Sylvan Acres are way the hell over there. <laughs> City humans. We're expanding. Oh, you're talking about old stacks? Yes. Well, we're on the border of Fawn Market, the Gar- the Gargs, the old stacks, and the, uh, the Crow's Nest. You could just walk to the tower without going through your neighborhood from here. Yes, but setting foot in our territory, and this is our territory. Oh, I see. You think you own Bellefonte Tower. Yeah, that is where you're wrong, my dear. He glances to Barnabas, like... What you want? <laughs> well, we came to make an offer of friendship, but apparently you don't want it. You're trying to extract coin from a wizard. An art wizard, I may remind you. He will hear about this when he's done what he's doing, which is his business and not the fay of Sylvan Acres or wherever you're expanding. Very well. Do let your master know that the Briars would like a word. All right. Chuck is like clueless. He doesn't know what the fuck that means. Why? Why? What sort of friendship are we looking at here? Just a mutually beneficial arrangement. You look out for us and we look out for you. No exchange of coin, my husky friend. Yeah, I've been called worse and plucks a... <laughs> he plucks a peek at it. Uh, you don't think she meant to be insulting? She's just being descriptive of you <laughs> yep i know he, he's eating pecans <laughs> he's inspecting them though he's like looking for the really good ones <clears throat> well um we can talk to Bellafont with your terms yeah we'll talk to Bellafont with the terms it's still not too clear about what the terms are. You want to be friends. Just tell him we're feeling ignored. We've been hired to handle his day-to-day. Is there something more that you could tell us? Well, I believe Master Bellafont will be very... He'll know what I mean. Trying to rolls his eyes. Yeah, well, let me show you the door. If you're not going to drink the whiskey, just put it back down. I'll take care of it. Jim Jagger will grab the whiskey and put it beside the napkin where he's got a little pile of <laughs> a little bit of pile of pecans he's been nicking at. He'll he'll let he'll let Barnabas send the lady. Yeah, you, you hear him walking around. All right, yeah. you have a good night. Try not to get mugged on the way out. Bye bye. Bye bye. He slams the door behind him. <laughs> Fuck. I suppose the price of well, taking up residence here grows yeah. steeper every day. Yeah, the Briars is maybe a bit bigger of a problem than a gang. Those are Chaga. Uh, what are briars aside from prickly things that stick to your cloak? I think they're sort of like the syndicate, but for Fay. Oh, lovely. The Fay have their own mafia. Uh, that's so, a, that's a so fr- to speak, yeah. That's a frightful thought. Yeah, it's kind of, it's, um, they don't own (laughs) much of the city, but what they got, they got pretty solid. (laughs) Do as we say, I will break your goatee legs and sniff your wings. (laughs) Yeah, I'll keep that one to yourself. (laughs) Yes, it it sounded funnier inside. Well, this whiskey is not too bad. It's all right, isn't it? Yes. Not bad price either. It seems, it's, uh, I want to say oak, but they must have used a different type of barrel for this strange. I'm thinking cedar. Mm. It's a peculiar taste. 
we might have to actually listen to whatever they got to say. The Israelis, uh, right? Um, it's funny that they think that they own a wizard's tower. You know, Belafonte would have never really put up with that. No, she might have been testing us. He, uh, I do recall that there were some people that showed up when I was here as an apprentice. He conjured some monster that just chased them away. He never killed anyone, but he used the tower to defend his uh, territory. Yeah, well, she probably noticed that the, that didn't happen this time either. So the executioners think they own the tower, and now the Fae think that they own the tower. Should we uh, also expect a, a visit from the whoever rules foreign market or gargoyles? Yeah, probably. And... <laughs> yes, yeah, so I suppose with the gargoyles, they know that something's going on here because we found them looting the place when we first arrived. Uh, gargoyles now enforce is suspect. Mm. Looks like the face suspect. Well, anyways, it sounds like we should take precautions and not travel alone. We we might have been getting a bit sloppy. Uh, I think so. Stay with more more or the uh, Nizumi. We'll call it the rule of threes. When we go out, there should be three of us. Yeah, agreed. All right. We'll make trips to shop a bit more difficult. Curious, it didn't take them long to... What did we sell that tipped... Well, I suppose I'm wearing the conjurer's circlet and you're wearing the ring. We did walk through the neighbourhood with a giant pile of shit the other night. Oh, yes, yes. I thought we got away rather quickly, but it is sort of a trek now, isn't it? Well, we did come through the old stacks, and if they do run it, they probably got eyes about. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's too bad we don't have, like, spells like teleport. We'd just be in and out. No problems. No fuss, no muss. Yeah, it would be nice. Sadly, that's not the case. I know how to teleport one day. I would very much like to know that as well. Two peas in a pod we are, Barnabas. Two peas in a pod. Well, if we're going to deal with the briars, we'll have to be polite. Make sure you wash your ass. Are we to go to them or are they we to wait for them to come to us? I'm not too sure how all this works. I we should be proactive. Ah, uh, he's you, gonna make the knowledge. You know who the briars are. I know of hang on a turn. Twenty-eight. I think I know we're all I think I know the gent we gotta to speak to. Okay. Chaga, know of him. Chaga has a power. Let me see. It might be able to help you. That's an 8th level and 8th level cleric, so that's 9th or 10th. Um, he can touch creatures and make knowledge checks <laughs> about them, but it doesn't affect other knowledge. Okay, cool. Hmm. All right, then. Should we all go... Um, maybe not all of us. Definitely, definitely bring in more. Los is inconspicuous. Yeah, Los, I think it's best we leave Alistair at home, which means it's best we leave in the Junker and Rat with him. Yes, yeah, yeah. so they could, they could guard the tower, not here. Uh, it sounds like a plan. 100! Ah! <laughs> It, it wasn't a hundred. It was more like a thousand. I lost track. I was practicing with my sword. Do you know it comes into the jar with me? Yeah, we all saw that. No, no, the yeah. other one didn't, but this one does. Yep. 
this is great Ding! like he, he he like tings his sword off the ground and actually makes contact with the ground <laughs> i have my sword <laughs> oh yes 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 we were rather fortuitous at the uh, rune shop had a ghost touch uh, rune we were able to afford that uh, yes, uh, Lewis is poor, but what else is he going to spend his money on? It's not like he's eating anything. Not a good point. I'll be able to help out. Just point me in the right direction of our enemies, and I'll prove to them who's the best swordsman in all of Volcanica. All right, all right. We'll find you something to fight, all right? He grins, this big, perfect teeth grin. But not till tomorrow. <laughs> Okay. You've got things to do first, like finish this fucking bowl. <laughs> he pours some more brachaga. What time of day is it? And he goes through the wall and then comes back out. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, at least he's happy. So he is. Best swordsman, though. I've seen better. You wouldn't want to run into a few of the dunes. They they live for that stuff. Los was eh, a little soft. Uh, it's never really been my thing. I mean, I picked up a rapier before, but honestly, uh, magic missile. Um... <laughs> yes. Yes. I am going to enjoy flinging the scythe around. <laughs> uh, it's a fucking fancy one, that's for sure. Oh, yes, the rune upon it. Although I think I should have, in retrospect, put the rune on the sword. I might have to pick up a better mm, weapon for the telekinesing. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> All right. Finish my glass. I'm going to bed. <laughs> After I have some pecans. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Nice. <clears throat> okay, yeah. All right. Jaga will go to bed eventually. There is nothing disturbed you that evening. Nice. Uh, next day, Barnabas is kind of just sitting there. Waiting for Chaga to make breakfast, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, Chaga uh, goes through his morning ritual. Because he knows that we're going to go visit some fancy people, he actually goes through the whole rigmarole for a bath. Um, I don't know if this place has a bathtub. Maybe in the upper tower, or the locked portion. <laughs> uh, I think by this point in time, we've converted some of those tubs and bins into... Yeah. Into tubs. Of a bathtub. I'm going to draw. Barnabas makes soap. So he can make soap, so he's made soap. There, there's a bathtub. <laughs> so yeah, Chaka has a bath. He does come down. He creates a. He makes a hearty breakfast, and you want him to roll his new profession cooking. Is that what you're yes, saying? Yes, he is. He's like, All right. <laughs> we gave you the posh and pan <laughs> Uh... Oh, he rolls a nat one and still gets a 14. <laughs> the eggs are a little runny and the bacon's a little soft. <laughs> it's all right. It's pretty yeah, good, yes, I guess. I'm still getting used to it. Plus, I'm a bit nervous, you see. All right. Breakfast was good. Oh, I should wash too, I suppose. Barnabas goes and washes, kind of an afterthought for him. Not quite as well as Chaga, but he does clean himself up. Kind of slicks his, pulls his hair back a bit, puts his hat on. All right, let's go. More, you ready to go? <laughs> uh. Mort. Uh, okay. <laughs> and, and. Runs into the stall, gets his gear on. All right, let's go. <laughs> what? Nothing. 
Oh, All right, more. This is going to be one of them situations where you don't say anything. Incidentally, have you found any of these six or seven bars of soap I have left in your gear? What soap? <laughs> it's something you put on your body to clean. Like water? In addition to water. Fuck! <laughs> I thought it was candy. Really bad candy. <laughs> he ate the soup, Barnabas. He ate the soup. <laughs> Explains a lot. Do you want to see my bucket? <laughs> no, no, I can live my life without having to see the digested soup that has passed through your system. Hey, oh, that, speaking that... of digestion, I, I put the leftover breakfast in a bag like you like, Mott. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <see> that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks at Barnabas. <laughs> Barnabas like, eh. <laughs> just, just remember, no token. <laughs> greasy bag oh, full oh, of oh, oh, bacon, oh. eggs, and toast all mashed together. <laughs> it's like the scrapings from everyone else's plate. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't seem to mind. He's like, okay. ah, this is great. <laughs> yes, I guess when it's all mixed together, it all gets mixed together. Yes. He, he is the Kev of the party, except he really means it. <laughs> there are some weird parallels between the two adventuring parties. Uh, all right. All right. Jacket doesn't know where we're going, so he's just going to follow Barnabas. Right. He is taking the funerary urn with him. Uh, do we have Christmas? Oh, no, we got to, uh, we can just go to conversation. Go to conversation. Yeah, let me know when you want us to switch to, uh. Yeah, we can just go to conversation for now. Uh, can you, uh, bring a night horn? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me bring, like, a night horn. What kind of monster is that? Oh, yes, that kind of. That, yeah. Do you know what NPC I really liked role playing, even though he was kind of weenie? Who's that? The uh, the cleric of Sylvanus. Oh, that um, Sonny went to go talk to. What was it? Wrinkle God? No. Yeah. Uh, I'd have to, I have to see his token to really get what it was, but it yeah. was it was the cleric of Sylvanus who had allergies. <laughs> Yes. That was obsessive, <laughs> like an obsessive gardener. His yeah. spiel on Sylvanus was really fun to sort of come up with, and uh, um, yeah, like order of nature. And, the order yeah. of nature in the story were definitely things that I kind of knew the way I wanted the story to go of Sylvanus, but I never articulated it, and that's I, I find doing that improv uh, a lot of fun. Uh, okay, so you want us on conversation layer. And then we'll move. Oh. Yeah. There are two Chagas. <laughs> There's Tassad, who takes Chaga for him. Why? <laughs> All right. So Barnabas walks you to Sylvan Acres. Oh, it's green here. Yeah, it's the way they like it, I suppose. Oh, they've got a little church here and everything. Who lives in that castle up there? Who lives in castles these days? Oh, pretentious fox, I see. Oh, yes, yes. Lots of castles in... Uh, beautiful castles in the Leeward Lands, I'm told. Actually, it, rumor is he's some kind of dragon man in there. Oh. Oh, really? Isn't that interesting? And he, Chucky gives you this bump, like. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's wait and see what happens here first. <laughs> dragon men are sort of like conjurers, aren't they? Yeah, and dragons like to keep a lot of money around, don't they? Ooh. <laughs> we'll keep it in mind. <laughs> <laughs> it has to happen later because he's it, been yes, training. It has to happen. Yeah. <laughs> this is the the problem with like the we're like weeks behind. <laughs> yeah. And I kind of wonder. 
like I, I uh, yeah, yeah, we gotta wait because. <laughs> or we just need to take a week off work and catch up, Mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, we're we're just gonna, we'll come up on the fly and we'll just catch up uh, you know what i got time off at the end of august we'll get up there fuck yeah uh, let me know what days you have off because uh, i haven't taken i've taken one day off this year yeah uh yeah I, uh, hang we'll on do that second. offline yeah yeah offline. okay i'm gonna make a note of it though august <laughs> time off Woo. Fuck else uh, Barnabas gets into the neighborhood and starts asking um, Sylvan if you speak it. Um, do you speak Sylvan? I'm gonna check. I don't know if I don't know if Chaga has a reason to speak Sylvan. Imperial common and old vo- volcano, uh, infertile. Uh, okay. Uh, I think Mort's it, but he was told to shut up so he stays that way mort does not he speaks no, no he doesn't aklo no. and trade common that's right oh that's right i keep thinking uh he's fey for some reason when he is absolutely not yeah so he's asking around in in this other language oh i'm just trying to get the right place i know it's about here somewhere oh yes fairies more of them wonderful they get into everything they're invisible Hi, I bet you that one's sticky. He looks sticky. Chaga. Not 20, there we go. Yes. <laughs> you do know, just because you don't speak their language doesn't mean they don't speak yours, right? Oh, yes, I'm I'm nodding and waving and, and bowing politely. Yeah. I hope they don't... Yeah. Fire are very pishnickety creatures. Say that again. Pishnickety. Um... Easily moved emotionally. Moody. <laughs> yes. Yes. So easily offended and brought into you anger. But I brought pecan tarts. <laughs> All I'm saying is don't call anyone it's, sticky. <laughs> scary little basket with pecan tarts that he made. Actually, that was not a bad hut. <laughs> <clears throat> let's see the pecan tarts he got a 31 on the all right which matches barnabas's role to gather info on where to find this guy if it was a um a perform check with music the pecans would be were 15 be, gold piece be extraordinary per, would be extraordinary performance in a prosperous city you earn 3d6 gold pieces per day in time yeah. you may draw the attention from distant Ch- patrons chaga I... catches more a few times going and trying to sneak his hand in but you just slap it away like, <laughs> no <laughs> they are not for you <laughs> he says but if you notice there's a little bit of like pecan <laughs> or whatever he uses sprinkling kind of on his lips still He's had, he's had some. Finish your feedback. I, there's honestly more in there than you could fill your bell. Is, does your stomach get bigger when you get bigger? Uh, yeah. What happens if you eat lots when you're big and turn small? Do you puke? No. It, it, whatever. When if I'm big and I go small, it all goes small. If I'm small and it goes big, it all goes big. <laughs> yeah. Giant bacon, giant throw up, giant poop. Uh, Yes, so we don't need to worry about vomitarium, is what you're saying? What, there's a place for that? Uh, I hear in old times, and Chaga's going to describe what he read about feasts. (laughs) Old noble feasts. That's brilliant! (laughs) Yes, if you just want to eat more, you just go and... And, you know, eat more. Oh, you need to cook us a feast. I'll get the buckets. <laughs> Chaga <laughs>, laughs at that. <laughs> Barnabas is just shaking his head. Like, Not for me, mate. <laughs> the fairies probably know what a vomitorium is. They're here. They throw quite a good party. Uh, is the rumor. Quite fond of their wine, if you can get a hand of it. All right, so should we start asking around to see if these fae knew about Nighthorn? Oh, they know. He's uh, 
got one to spill the beans. Just find him in that place there. Is Nighthorn a nickname or a surname or is his first name or is it just what us humans call him? Honestly, I don't know. Why is his last name? So it's not a Nighthorn Bri- Briar, it's not a family uh, uh, name? Uh, 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 look, I'm not well versed in the world of criminals. <laughs> <laughs> there was about three or four things that Chaka wanted to say. Just, <laughs> it came out as... <laughs> <laughs> and he's kind of looking at you like, say it, I fucking dare you. <laughs> we don't know who might be listening now, do we? Exactly. <laughs> uh, you you get uh, this way. Uh, Barnabas walks you down a couple streets. There's this small building. There's an ogre standing out front. Chuggy just looks him up and down. Hello there. Uh, Mort nudges you and looks up like now. <laughs> no, I think it's a talking. What What you want? It looks to Barnabas like we're supposed to be here. Yeah, it's just place. Uh, uh, we're here to see Nighthorn. Chuggy makes uh... a little bow. We have, we've come with gifts. Hang on. He takes the basket. Mm. No, these aren't for you. And Chuck is like, it's just slapping his other hand away. Ah. No, you. This is not for you. Who are you? Um, my name is Chaka. This is my um, companion Barnabas and our guard Mort. All right, you can have one. Here you go, and Chaka will take one out and give it to the ogre. The ogre takes it. Check for poison. He takes it. Ooh, he goes for another one. No, no, no. These are for <laughs> Nighthorn. I'm sure Nighthorn gets cranky when you start taking things from him. Yes, yes. Why are you here? Oh, we're here to, because we were invited here by Nighthorn. Somebody came to our our home in the middle of the night and said we need to speak to the Briars. He looks a little confused, like he's processing. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. He opens the door, lifts his hand up, Mm -hmm. and the basket disappears. You hear something go in, and the door closes. This is from Chaga. (laughs) <laughs> Made oh, yeah. with. He know, he know, he know. Step back. Okay. Check this, check this uh, you're out. made to wait for like a good 15 minutes. <sighs> Mort's just like picking his nose or something. <laughs> this is obviously a negotiation tactic, or it's just fucking rude. I swear, I'm going to learn Unseen Servant. I don't care if it's a waste of a first circle spell. I'm going to learn it, and I'm going to use it, and I'm going to carry a fan and a parasol and a foldable chair, and I will know luxury. For specifically situations like this, where we're told to wait and not given an approximate time to wait, so our minds are going crazy. Has it been three minutes or thirty? I don't know. I don't I know could, anymore. I could buy you a watch. <laughs> Only if the watch has not been owned by someone. I find watches are very... They give me, well, anxiety. All right, you see a familiar figure come walking out, out of the door. Oh, look, it is our late night companion. That came out wrong. <laughs> she, she looks at you like, thank you for, yeah, saying. <laughs> thank you for acknowledging how that sounded. <laughs> we took your advice, dear. Uh, and we're so grateful that you have. Angie, was it? Angeline. 
LG. It's curious that you chose to come directly here. Well, not to skip the line, so to speak. Well, your ambition is appreciated. You would like to speak with with tonight on what well, is, as far as I know, the man in charge of this area. I would like somewhere to sit, preferably in the shade, if this is going to take any longer. Oh, it won't be long. Oh, okay. If oh. you would like to speak with Mr... With Mr. Nighthorn, complete it's... these tasks. Just a symbol of friendship, a favor for a favor. Oh, my God. You've got tasks now? We already have one master. You would like to talk to him directly. I'm afraid he's quite busy right now. Yeah, as Perhaps we're... once you've completed these tasks, he'll be available. Oh, my... Uh... <sighs> Chugga looks to Barnabas. Like, seriously? Barnabas is like, fucking hell. What fucking tasks? <laughs> oh, we're doing the tasks now. Um... I didn't say we're doing the tasks. I'm asking what they are. It, oh, what? Uh, it's just a small list. It's right here. Uh, she hands it to Chaga, actually. Uh, Ch Chaga is like, uh, he doesn't want to touch anything. He reads objects, so he doesn't oh, touch things. She, she sees your hesitance, so she just hands it to Barnabas. All right, what do we got here? He, Puts his glasses on, head west to okay. German form. Chaga's gonna, like, oh, he needs to lean against something. He's gonna in inch his way towards the door. Okay. The, the ogre steps in front of it. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> like, you're not getting in. <laughs> He's gonna, like, oh, I just need to, to lean here for a moment. <laughs> I get tired, too, but you yeah. can't go in. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Okay. Um, you make more pecans. <laughs> Right, I have, I have a just not the tarts, but there's a bag of pecans here. He'll, he'll open up, he'll undo the strings in the bag, and it turns into kind of like a napkin, and he'll share the pecans. Uh, but Chaga is going to also um, cast a spell. Okay. Uh, Mage hand. Okay. And it's just going to start knocking on the door. <laughs> Um, and he's the, he's sitting there eating pecans the, with the with the, the, the ogre's ogre. looking around like what the <laughs> what like who's knocking on the door? He opens the door. Oh, <laughs> oh hello, Nighthorn. My name is Chaga. I'm here you with see Barnabas. Him stuffing his mouth. With his <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm here with Barnabas. We're here from Bellafont's Tower and wants to have a word with you. He uh, he looks and, he looks at he looks at at, at Angie and just gives it. He's furious. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, we're rather cranky because we were well, interrupted. And... Wizards he, he need kind of nods very well. Wipes his mouth. Yep. <laughs> Come in. Well, was that her eating the cookies? <laughs> Are you the tarts? Yeah, and then was like, these are fucking good. <laughs> Dude, if you got DC 31 cookies, you're eating the cookies. <laughs> like, there yeah. is, there, there are, there is a one company, I hope it didn't close with all the COVIDs and that sort of thing, that it's, um, um, uh, Fox wants to spend a villain point. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, boo. Oh, he's not there. He's already you already described him being there. Oh, it could be somebody yeah. else, but Yeah, it is the Fae. The Pixies are eating the the cookies. No, it's um Oh, that's the Fae. Sure, you see Nighthorn there. Uh make a Perception check. Oh, the fucking pixies. Twenty-eight. 
27. Oh, crap. Oh, 33. Oh, Junkie's not there. Uh, 27. All right. So what do we see? We see the big desk. You see the big desk. You see uh, Night Whore there. With, he's wiping his mouth. Uh, Barnabas comes up. I he doesn't. No, he wouldn't. All right. Sit down, gentlemen. And is there somebody to sit down in? There, there's, there's like two chairs. Okay, Chaga will kind of do that thing where you take a chair and drag it across the floor. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, all right. He tries to do it in an endearing way, but eventually. Yeah. Uh, uh, Oh, you really should consider moving these chairs outside. Not everyone is as fit as they were when they were children. Mind you, I was a plumpy child. My father thought that I was... Uh, well, my brothers and my father thought that beating the fat out of me would work. Unfortunately, it only reinforced certain behaviours. Don't worry, there's a lot of muscle under here. Oh, this chair does not look like it's going to take much of my um, my girth. Sense motive? Sure. Chug is a little more... A uh, little more astute at that. 14. Okay, no. Uh, well, you've come all the way to speak to me. What? Well, you sent um, a fine woman by the name of Angie to Bellefonte's tower uh, as his apprentice, Chaga. We're wondering what ourselves. <laughs> to be fair, um, the wizard is busy and we've been tasked with his day-to-day -day business. Well, if you want to help with his day-to-day, -day, you should consider making friends with us. Oh, yes. Well, the executioners are kind of, well, they're a bit simple. They're ill-tempered brutes. Yes. We get their jollies about seeing people executed. Yes. Well, I'm glad that we could agree on that. I'm not sort of our cup of tea. Although those cakes would do well with a cup of tea. He looks like he snaps his fingers. <laughs> All right. So I'll leave what it. You... I'll leave it to you, Mark, to spend the villain point in some other way. It, it, it is spent, even though it's it's spent. Okay. Yeah, we didn't roll our perceptions very well, and our sense no. move is pretty shit. Okay, so this task list, uh, Barnabas and I would like to understand why we should do tasks for you. Because you want to be, you want to be my friend. That's why. You. Yeah. I can make it so you can't buy anything, or I can make it so you can run through the streets freely, naked as a jaybird. Yeah. Whatever you please. Yeah. Um, Marty B. I'm looking at the. It maybe it's just my computer, but it looks a little fuzzy on the stream. Yeah, that's you. That's your internet saying. <laughs> that's me? That's it's, my it's internet you. going, you, you need to upgrade? No, it's your internet going, I'm busy doing something else. and I'm No, Fuzzy, upgrade. it is good. Okay. okay. That's uh, on it. No, the, the point is spent and reasons. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yep. That's fine. <clears throat> Ooh, all right, then. Um. Our time is valuable as well. I'm assuming there will be some sort of recompense for... There will be compensation for your time. Ah, remuneration. 
This is the word I was looking for. Chaka smiles. These are just simple favors we're asking. Nothing complicated. Oh, no. Of course but not. Some of it is a bit time consuming. Days travel here, days travel there, but oh. like we said, remuneration. Lovely. And he looks over at Barnabas like, seriously, dude. <laughs> I see. Well, um, we'll peruse these tasks of yours and let you know. Let me know when they're done, and we'll get some, if you want it, proper paying work. Yes. For gentlemen of your talents. Yes. I think we are looking for work. Chuck looks to Barnabas. I want to be clear, you are associates. Associates and friends of the reserve. Oh, yes, we already have our titles as apprentice of uh, Large Bellefonte. Wonderful. Glad to hear it. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Chug is like, oh, shit. <laughs> they're, they're trying to dump some shit on us. <laughs> <laughs> he leans back in the chair a little bit as much as the chair allows before it groans or creaks. Okay. <laughs> Chug is not a small person. <laughs> um, six to 400 pounds. Yeah. That's a big dude. You're like, I don't know. You're like King Kong Bundy. Oh well, yeah, look, look, look at the look <laughs> for at those the, of you who look remember at, look at the real the look at the picture it's based off of, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a big dude. All right, <clears throat> uh, we'll look at this list. We'll let you know if we get it done, and if not, no hard feelings. Oh, that, that sounds wonderful. That's uh, right. No hard feelings. I didn't think there were hard feelings to begin with. We do apologize if there were. <laughs> Nighthorn kind of looks out towards the door. Well, maybe one person. Yeah, I hear that some Fey don't have good control over their emotions. But I also hear that they like to play tricks on each other. She'll get over it. I'm sure she will. Chuckle smiles. Good day, gentlemen. Oh, yes. Pleasant. You, you can see he's he's trying to avoid taking another cookie. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, one, one more thing, Nighthorn. Is there a particular berry or, or, or taste palette that you're fond of? Blackberries. Ah, of course. Yes, I would be, um, where did you get these? I have to ask. I made them this morning. You made them? Well, I had to roast them yesterday, so I suppose the process began with, well, two days ago I bought them in the market, and then three day, uh, yesterday I roasted the nuts, and then I turned them into, a wizard doesn't share his secrets, uh, Mold. Of course. Night on. <laughs> Do please stop by with these again any time, though. <laughs> yes. Uh, blackberry. I will experiment with some blackberries. I will very much look forward to that. Excellent. Man of good taste. He, he kind of nods at you. <laughs> good day. <laughs> Good day. He gets up from the chair. He moves it back to where it was. <laughs> okay, Barnabas gets up. It's a bit of a show, like to show that he's a little bit bumbling and kind of endearing, but it's <laughs> a little bit of a show. Um, you, you think you made a good impression with the, with with the baked goods? <laughs> yep. I, I didn't catch your name, Oga. Oh, fuck! What was his name? I, I don't remember. Honestly, don't remember. Oh. My name is Burr. Anyway, good to meet you, Burr. Yeah. Yeah. 
like like sharp thing on a hammer. Yes, burrs and briars. Mm. Yeah, awesome. yeah, because burr is sharp as ogre. Burr, just back to the door. She, uh, Angeline's walking in and she's giving you the dirty ass lock. Yep. <laughs> oh, a pleasant day to you, my dear. Likewise, gentlemen. <laughs> Toodaloo! <laughs> the door slammed <laughs> behind you. <laughs> well, that went well. Perhaps we'll yeah, get. Yeah. Perhaps we won't get bothered by Faye. That's twice in a month. Uh, it's enough of that, that's for sure. Yes. What's this task list? Ah, oh, right. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh! D- don't, don't take off your gloves. And Chaga slaps the task list from your hand, and he's going to like constant. He's going to take off his own gloves, and he's going to do an object reading on the task list. Okay. Uh, how does that work? <laughs> All right. Cult skill unlocks. Oh, give me a second. <clears throat> uh, this particular one is called object reading, and I'll give you the link. Psychometry. Once per day, you can concentrate for one minute while in physical contact with an item or a location during which you receive flashes of insight regarding the the subject's nature and ownership. After a minute, you attempt a DC-15 appraise check to decipher the visions. For every five by which you beat the, uh, sorry, for every, you learn one piece of information for every 10 by which you, you beat the check result. Okay, make a roll. His appraise is, this is why he doesn't have any knowledge skills, because he sprinkled his uh, skills across the occult. Uh, mm-hmm. He really and needs an item or something to help with this, because it's a plus five. So this is a long shot that he gains any information. He gets a 12. Uh, he doesn't gain any information. Let me see. Um... If you fail by five or less, the item has no significant psychic imprint and you don't learn any information. Okay. Uh, I thought I might have been able to pick up a bit of um, psychometric readings from the paper. Apparently- oh, I wouldn't worry about it. We got, it's still a list. Maybe yeah. he hands it up to himself. <laughs> yeah. oh, yes. He puts his glove back on. Uh, item number one. Ugh, it's itemized. There is a problem at the Durham farm to the west. Uh, seriously? See what the fucking problem is. I guess it's a. Uh, uh, item number two. Oh, this one looks easy. He's right in town. Uh, Doyle O'Shea. I ah, seen in old stacks. Find him. Bring him back. Okay, visit a farm. Some guy in old stacks. And oh, great! Another fucking farm. Why are we always got to leave the fucking city? I don't know. Oh, this one is a... Oh, oh this one might be fun. There's a halfling commune named Herbal. <laughs> a halfling? Yeah, looks like this is... um. They make... Uh, they harvest, you know, the halfling leaf. Ooh. They ain't getting their shipments. They want to know why. <sighs> Aye. End of the day, this one might not be so bad. <laughs> Honestly, Barnabas, why are we doing the dirty work for these people? So we can get to the dirtier work that pays better. Yes, but... <laughs> Aye. 
Listen, you see those figurines, those four blokes we found? Yeah. That was Lars and the Conjurer doing dirty work to get to where they are. Uh, yes, I can see your point. We don't have, we don't have many friends in the city, and well, the Fey are at least not attacking us on sight. My guess is they just expanded. Might not have the manpower they need to hold everything they got. Well, I suppose we could do these jobs and see how it goes. Uh, Mortimer, right, are you taking notes? He's looking at you like... <laughs> You're very good, Mortimer. You're very well behaved. We're, uh, we're almost out of the Sylvan Acres. You can talk now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> but give me any fucking cookies. That fucking sucks. <laughs> yes, they were for the ogre and the man inside. Which... Yeah, but they smell so good. I'll make more. Okay. <laughs> it smells funny there. Like Wait. stinky perfume all over the place. Yes. Yes. The, they like flowers and incense and things. That stuff's stupid. Well, to them, it's not. Well, they're stupid. Well, your breath is actually quite nice today. The soap works. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> right. Chuck, is there a market here? Uh, yes, there is a market, of course. Okay. Yeah, there's a market here. Chuck is going to spend 20 gold pieces on ingredients. Okay. Uh, you find some very fresh fruit. Yep. Uh, there is a... There is a stall uh, manned by someone from the Church of Sylvanus. They've got their own stall here at the market. Okay. Straight from the gardens of Sylvanus. Oh, the bounty of the... that guy. <laughs> yes, yes, the great Sylvanus provides, provides for us in the five-faced god. Do you have any blackberries? Um... Yes, we do. We have a basket right here. As we... Okay, he'll include as part of the ingredients lots of lots of berries, including blackberries. All right. Yeah, so you have your fresh ingredients uh, and your blackberries. Ooh, fey bread. <laughs> no, seriously, we need to stop here. Monimus <laughs> <laughs> is like, we don't have time for... That's most fascinating. <laughs> We're all eating what I picture is, uh, you know, the uh, the Finnish coffee bread, like the pula, yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> like really thick, almost cake like bread. Uh, and um... I, I went to a uh, the pula, pula, yeah, pula, yeah. I went to a um, Christmas like craft sale. Yep, and uh, it was put on i can't remember who put it on exactly but i guess every year they've got this giant pile of pula and as soon as they opened the doors honest to god marty there was like 50 loaves just gone <laughs> like people were almost pushing each other out of the way to get this stuff yeah it's it's uh it's ridiculous i have a workshop i know how to make pula oh i have all Too bad you couldn't mail it to me. But Pula is awesome. Hmm. Sorry about that. Sorry. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So that's the first one. Oh, well, yeah. We. Uh, that's all of them. Which one you want to do first? If at all, I mean, we don't have to do this. Does it say here how much we're getting paid? It does not, and I think it was deliberately vague. Uh, well, 
if anyone would be able to fashion that flail snail shell into armor, it might be the Fae. That's a good point. I really want some armor that would screw up spellcasters that dare to cast spells upon Chaka simply because he's a large target. It's a fair point. Hmm, yes. All right. If we do do this, we're going to have to find a way, at least later on, returning the tables. We could say that the Arch Wizard demands something of the Fae. We could use the influence of uh, Bellafont to back our own demands. That's not a bad idea. Perhaps with a bit of sleight of hand, make a big explosion in the impact or something or something. I'm not sure. All right. That's. Yeah, we should be using uh, better thought to our advantage. Which I thought I was trying to do. It's like they are summoning us. I know what being summoned feels like, and I don't like being summoned. <laughs> Barnabas is giving him a look like, because he is from a servitor family yep. <laughs> to the syndicate. He's like, yep. yeah, fucking sucks, huh? <laughs> yes. My, my my surname is Dune, damn it. And I know that I am not the favored son of the Dune family, but perhaps they don't know who I am. I imagine they don't, or if they do... It's probably best because of, you know, the anger that our family feels yeah. for us interrupting their spooky plans to have ancient ancestor spirits ride around in our bodies. Yeah, your family's fucked, mate. Oh, yeah, Lutrenics are fucked as well, but... Um... Well, not the only ones behind you, but still... Yes. I'm Which sure, things you want to do first? I'm sure there are skeletons in your family's closet as well, Barnabas. Oh, I've got no doubt. The Darbies, I'm sure, are involved in something nefarious. But working for the likes of you, it's kind of hard to avoid now, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> All right, so what do you want to do first? It, you pick. Roll a die or make more. Mort? Uh, uh, Mort's like, um. Pin the dagger tail on the donkey. <laughs> Chuck is gonna, like, hold the thing up to a wall somewhere. Okay. <laughs> throw, uh, throw a knife, Mort. Throw a knife. <laughs> Alright. Uh, did I throw the knife? <laughs> Two. That was. Oh, we, don't, we don't have to go into a farm. Right. Yeah, maybe the right. two farms are right next to each other so that we don't have to do much traveling. Right. It's summer. The bugs are bad in summer. I know. They're bad, right? Uh, but... Mosquito netting. Nice mosquito net hat. Billowy moo moo. Something to move around in. And an unseen servant, a folding chair, a parasol, and a fan. Oh, I've got some purchases to make. Do you want to do that before or after we find this Doyle fella? Oh, we can go look for Doyle now if you want. Unless we want to show up with my heavy armor on. I'm only wearing my light chain today. Well, seeing as we don't know anything about this bloke, uh, yeah, let's uh, go get you geared up. All right. And should we take... Well, we have to capture him, so let's go get our hand card. We could stuff him in a bag or something. Yeah, well, it said send him back. I don't know if it means unconscious or just send him back. Okay, unconscious. Ah, it's safer that way, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> we know he makes it. Yes. So, um, Mort, do you carry a sap? Uh, Why? It, well, this job is not to kill this man, but to knock him out. Do you know how to do that with your big club? Hit someone so they don't die, but they just pass out? Oh, uh, not real. 
Golly, I guess. A sap, you say? <laughs> Come on, Mort. I've seen you be quite finesseful with your club. Uh, uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, I can, I can, I can go buy a sap. How about that? Or you could just be very light with your club. Fine. But we could get you a sap with the club. You no, know, we could get you a sap if you if you want a sap. We'll, we'll go to the market first. All right, I'm just going to go to the market. Okay, we're going to... How much money does he have? Uh, hang on. Yes. He has uh, almost... Oh, about uh, 1750 so he's got enough for us. You could buy a Masterwork sap. He'll buy a masterwork sap. How much is a sap? It's like three gold or something. Oh, okay. Just... It's three three hundred and whatever the sap costs. This a sap cost one gold. Three hundred and one right. gold. There we go. Masterwork sap. I'll add it to his list. We probably bought that at the Hobgoblin's Arsenal. I'll add that money to the shop. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so you don't have to take more comes out like, oh yeah, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Just as long as he doesn't use the sap in a lethal manner. <laughs> <laughs> but I hit him with the sap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stop hitting him when he falls down. All right. Uh, how do you go about trying to find? Doyle or Shay? Uh, we're going to. What What does the note say again? Uh, just find him. He was last seen in old stacks. Barnabas, uh, you. Do you want to start asking around? Yeah, I suppose we'll have to. Uh, Chaga can auto aid now with his circlet uh, on diplomacy checks. Mort is not going to try to help. No, oh, Mort just could just keep an eye out. Twenty-seven. Let's gather information. So, here's what you find out. Doyle O'Shea is one of the Fey that came to help secure the neighborhood. Okay. He has been on a drinking bender for the last two weeks. What is Doyle O'Shea? He is a leprechaun. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, do we know, like, the stereotypical, like, leprechauns or, like, rainbows and pots of gold and that sort of thing? <laughs> Uh, yes, that's what you know about them, okay. basically. Oh, a leprechaun. How interesting. Rainbows and pots of gold. <laughs> she says to Barnabas. Maybe we could trick a drunk leprechaun out of his pot of gold. That was worth a try, isn't it? We should have gotten... Oh, um... Didn't Ghost say something about needing cold iron? Yeah, for Faye. I don't know if you can do that with a sap, though. I'm sure you could make a cold iron studded sap. I already paid for this. <laughs> yes, we'll just go and exchange it. No, fuck. How much is that going to cost? Cold iron? I can't remember. Uh, I think it's just double the base cost. The problem is it's when you try to enchant it. Oh, that's... Uh, you got to double the, the initial uh, enhancement cost. That's right. Let's have a look here. So, double the price of the masterwork, too, or just the base cost? Uh, that's what I'm looking. 
Um, times two normal weapon cost. Okay. So it'd be three hundred and two gold pieces. Two gold, yeah. If it was a plus one, that's where we start to. That's where the cost comes in. Yeah. All right. All right. So you head back. You get the cold iron. I will back. buy him. Well, I guess yeah. We'll 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 try to like trade it back in even though we would lose 150 like i don't know if we can barter um let's make a diplomacy check with the whole um barnabas is going to make the argument that we're going to drop a lot of coin here so you can do this one small flavor for us today yep and we keep selling to you and buying from you or we go somewhere else from now Chug how much did we bring you last week <laughs> We did sell uh, all of our weapons here. Yeah, um, I'm going to give him an extra plus two for that. Chaga auto aids. Yep. Mort keeps his mouth shut. 32. Fair enough. <laughs> so uh, Chaga will pay the difference of the gold piece. Oh. There you go. This can knock out both humans and fairies. <laughs> knock them right out of the sky. <laughs> yes, yes. Keep, keep on... Uh, Imagination is a good thing. <laughs> I like it. All right. Let's go smack a lot of gold. <laughs> but a gold. <laughs> Apparently, Malt's ready to go. <laughs> I don't think I need to get into my heavy armor. It sounds like we might be running around a lot. Unless you think I should. Mm. Uh, leprechauns aren't known for being terribly combative. It's mostly trickery and magic you got to watch out for. Hmm. All right, then. Let's go and talk to a leprechaun. All right. Uh, can you switch to the campaign I sent you? Yeah. I'm going to copy our tokens as the party is split. Yep. Julie, nervous split about the party. This Cleaning up the fucking mess from the Fae. I don't know if I should tell you this. But... Which, uh, which had you made your 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 check on that uh, psychic imprint, yep. it would have been like Angeline writing the list for you. I don't get the fucking humans to do my dirty work. <laughs> All right, uh, the first map we're going to Hold is. Hold on, we're still loading. Oh, okay, you're still loading? All right. My map tool's having a... It's loaded fine on the server map tool. It is... Hmm. Are you able to see it? I, I, I've got it, yeah. I, I can see on... Uh... Over the Twitch stream, though, it's not coming through. Yeah. It is loading map one out of nine. It's caching. There we go. Uh, which which map? Sorry, the sauced fox. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, that's not the right token. Uh, I gotta drag our tokens in there. We never really asked, is there a tavern in our in our neighborhood? There is now, and it's called the Sauce Fox. <laughs> <laughs> nice, good name. Because um, we had kind of our own tavern, and the other group, yeah, we did. The other group isn't really drinky. Well, yeah. Three of them don't drink anything, period. Yeah. 